The war has raged for centuries. Our parents, their parents, thousands have died and perished to the evil. And now they have come to our lands and we will not stand for it. We will fight and we will win. Today, we end it all! Brothers, mount up! We ride! You come to my land. You eat my dear corn. This is for country. This is for the militia! <laughs> hey guys, it's me. You probably just thought I was a mannequin. Oh, I'm not. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. <laughs> we got a suit of armor. And we have our nice mannequin here who is generous enough to volunteer to be our tester. And we are going to shoot our suit of armor. It is all metal. It's real. It actually would stop a sword. And under it, we bought some real chain mail as well. So we have chain mail. He is totally decked out as if he was going into a medieval battle. So we have chain mail, we have armor covering his entire body, head to toe, and we're gonna shoot it to see if it's bulletproof. Now they, of course, never tested this because they didn't have bullets. They were trying to stop swords and arrows. But I just wanna see if like, this is still a viable option in today's time, if say intruders coming in, should I get on my suit of armor, just in case. Before we get started, Christmas is right around the corner and it's probably too late to order anything for that special someone in your life. Unless it's from Bunker Branding and it's a Christmas sweater because today only, we will upgrade you to priority shipping if you order one of these. We have just a few of them left and they're awesome. The best gift ever. Also, if you'd like a gift card to Bunker Branding or Link Active, they are 20% off today only. Link in description below. Oh wait, also you have to use code gift card. I forgot to say that. Link in description below. Wow, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> hey, the militia, we should clean our guns more. All right, 22 long rifle. Cycling, that was in the shield. <laughs> oh, you have to clean guns? Who knew? Yeah, that's a spent one in there. It is stuck. That seemed, that seemed better. Safety though, safety gets you every time. Work like a charm. <laughs> Shield? No bueno. <laughs> That went right through. Oh no. Stop there. That was a good one. I wasn't really aiming really. I was just trying to make it fire. Direct sternum hit. Stopped there. Man, I have a bad feeling for you today, bud. I kind of aimed some at his crotch, but I was like rapid firing, so I don't know. There's pieces falling out. We got, oh, whoa, it caught the bullet on it. Holy cow, that is really mangled. Okay, there's our 22 bullet, so it, actually did stop. There's another couple pieces over here of the chain link. So there's our pieces. Oh, it went right here. Right into the pee pee, but stopped her bullet. Chain mail, good job. 12 gauge, also I decided that, you know, if he was actually in a battle, he would have his shield up. The shield would be in front of him. So shield is up, then he has the armor, then he has chain mail. What will some 12 gauge shotgun shells do to our knight? We're gonna do bird shot. I'm gonna do three rounds of bird shot from the hip. Oh, it looks like the shield stopped everything. <laughs> Can you hear the bird shot raining down? That's a win. One, two, three hits, and zero penetrations, which usually, zero penetrations is a bad thing. <laughs> but not today, we're actually pretty happy about zero penetrations. That's our 22 hole there, but nothing made it through. Wow, oh, it threw the paint. 
off the back of this and it's stuck all over his armor. Okay, let's take it up a notch. Double aught buck, 12 gauge. Actually don't know which barrel it fires first, so this will be a surprise for all of us. <laughs> oh, it's gonna kick really hard. Oh gosh! All right, this is it. Oh man. Yeah, the thing about double lock buck at this distance is it doesn't spread much. Oh no. It didn't come out the back, but there is a dent in the back of his armor. Oh yeah. Sorry, dude. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, it, the chainmail's not even there right now. You can see just his skin. It's his but a flesh wound. One little dent there, nothing came out the back, but there is some evidence that it went through him and hit the back of his armor. Nine millimeter? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, we're gonna go one down low, through the shield, into the chest. And then we're gonna go one to the face. Nine. Nine. Didn't go through, oh, there's a dent right next to, there's a dent there and a dent there. One's buckshot, one's nine millimeter. How about this one? Oh, yeah. Just hit him in the jugular, that's <laughs> fine. Oh, sorry. We uh, disrobed him of his armor, and you can see where stuff went through, so it just bust big holes in that chain mail. Obviously, all these spots, one on the PP from that 22, and then this must have been a 22 because I don't see any holes over here. But yeah, nine millimeter and shotgun, boom. We <laughs> pulled them away, and you can see the chainmail catching all these bullets back here. Oh, that's our nine millimeter right there, and probably some buckshot right there. Another piece of buckshot right there. It's pretty cool. So we were just gonna take the stuff off the guy. And then I was like, I kind of want to wear it all. And it honestly feels pretty good. Like really good. Like I know I'm not bulletproof because we just tested it, but like I feel bulletproof. Like I feel like I could stop buckshot and, and a nine millimeter maybe. Uh, I mean, maybe even bigger. I feel, I feel strong, honestly. I feel like I can't breathe this thing on. Very claustrophobic but I feel bulletproof. After seeing what we saw with the chain mail where it was catching bullets, I kind of want to just shoot a pile of chain mail. So we got all the chain mail that we have, put it right here in this pile, and we're gonna shoot it with bullet. And I'm gonna do with this Cabot 1911. Um, we're gonna shoot a 45 ACP, big old fat round nose, full metal jacket, 45 ACP, straight into a pile of chain mail. I don't think it's gonna go through, but I wonder how far it will go. There's pieces falling out. There's also a hole there. Oh, and it's warm here. I'm not sure which one it went through. There it is. <laughs> oh, cool. Ow, ow, ow. Wow, look at that. It cut up the front of it. That's wild. Well, we have bigger rounds. Let's fire something bigger into it. This is a gun I've had for a long time. The Falcor Petra, chambered in three in a wind mag, carbon fiber barrel. A lot of people we're asking actually recently if I had sold this one because I hadn't seen it in a while. I think I'd sell my zombie juggernaut gun. This is what I use for the big ones when they come out. 300 Win Mag is a huge caliber put into this AR. Let's see if Chainmail can stop it. So this was the headpiece. It threw it off. No bullets in it. It does have a hole here though. Something went through there. I don't see any holes in this. Oh, look at that. Crazy. That's lead. It shredded the bullet. That's all flakes of lead down there. Look at that. All of that, that's not steel. All lead. That bullet went in here and it was like a cheese grater and just busted it into a bunch of tiny pieces. I think. Oh, it's hot. Oh yeah, look at that hole. <laughs> All the other bullets are making holes like this big. Not the three in a wind mag. Three in a wind mag don't mess around. Ugh. Tons of stuff falling out, but no whole bullets. I think it minced that bullet. We are actually going to put this suit of armor in the storefront of Bunker Branding. So if you're driving through Central Texas down Interstate 10, come see us and you can see this thing. 
bullet holes and all. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Last chance to get your Christmas sweaters. If you order them today, we'll get them to you in time for Christmas. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. I can't see you actually at all. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Huh? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish. Sir Matt, king of the demolition.